we're gonna do with one of these. So I bought four of them so we're gonna use these for our project and we are going to use two mirrors for our project. Also we have a drinking plastic drinking. Now it can be any color except for well you could use white I guess if you want to. So you could use a, any color. And I bought this stuff here at Dollar Tree. So you got it for $1.25. No more dollar, dollar, dollar stuff. There are a few, but not much. And I also got a stick here for us. And I got this that we already had. So I didn't have to buy anything. But if you don't want this, you can use a broomstick. Or you can buy one at Dollar Tree for $1.25, a brand new one, and just buy it by the stick if you want to use them. Okay, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, our first one we're going to do is going to do this. Okay, I'm going to bring you down so you can see a little bit better, or maybe not. <laughs> All right, let me zoom here and see if I can get you a little bit better. There you go. So you can see what we're doing. Okay, we've got two mirrors. Let me see if I can... I kind of got the light behind this too, so I'm trying not to throw everything on the floor here. So, yeah, maybe you can see. Yeah, so. Okay, so also, I'm sorry, I forgot. You need your glue gun, okay? So I got these two mirrors here. Then I've got, I'm going to wash them and I'll come back. Um, they have fingerprints all over them, so I'm going to kind of wash them out. And we are going to take this apart. So, um, yeah, this is what we're going to do with the first one. Okay, so let me wash these real quick and I'll come back. Okay, guys, so I kind of tried to get off the fingerprints as best you can. Now, I got these mirrors here at Dollar Tree. They're $1.25, and they all have different sizes, like, you know, different shapes, I mean. Um, so you pick the shape you want. It doesn't matter. I just wanted something a little bit different, so I just, instead of a plain square one. So we're going to take these little lights that I got, and we're going to take them off of here, and what we're going to do, we're going to glue them in the center of each one of these the best we can. There we go. So, and we're going to use the hot glue gun. So, we're going to do that. So, um, let me see if my hot glue gun's ready. It might not be hot enough yet. Uh, I just turned it on. Yeah, it might be. Okay, so what we're going to do is put a little bit of glue here around the edge here. Because you want it to, to stick, you know. And center it the best you can in the middle. And put a little bit on your glass there. And I'm going to center it the best we can. And I'm not the one that's the best for straightness, so it might might look a little crooked because I don't see straight. I found that out a long time ago. And then we're just going to let it dry. So, but you do the best you can, you know. That's what you can do. Okay, so I'm going to do the next one. Put a nice amount. You don't want it to be overly, but you want it to sit and squish. I think I put a little bit more on this one than I did the other one, which is fine. It's not going to hurt anything. There. And 
And what I'm going to do is let these dry. And I ain't going to touch them for the moment, okay? So now we're going to do this one. Now I'm going to use this idea for camping. When we go camping, we can set this on our table and um, on the picnic table. <coughs> Excuse me. So, taking the lid. You don't need the lid. And I'm taking this stick off. And what you're going to do, you're going to put it in here and we are going to glue it on there. the stick out. <coughs> I better take the stick out of this one first. <coughs> Excuse me. Because yeah. once I get it, there we go. Now I did something similar before. I put, um, gl I used glass jars. This time we're just going to use a plain plastic pink one. But I thought this would be nice for going pit going camping and we could have it on our table Oop. you know what that's not where i wanted to put it no that's not where i wanted to put it but that'll be all right yeah. no that's not where it goes sorry i'm telling you wrong i was getting them mixed up with them okay so we don't need it it don't matter all right so what I'm going to do, we're going to put glue up on the black part up here. That's what we're going to do. Because what you want to do <coughs> is you just want it to sit up there. Like so. Okay? So I'm going to put glue in here in the black part along the edge. You just want it to stick. You know, down. These are very simple ideas to, to do. I did not invent this idea to let you know. <laughs> okay. <coughs> now, if you have all this stuff all at home at and all you need is light, then use something from the house, you know, that you don't use, you don't need. You might be sitting in the cupboard forever, and, yeah, I got an idea. I might use this. And if you don't, you can buy them at Dollar Tree for $1.25. And then you're going to just put it on top and hold it down. Oops, I don't, want it in, I don't really want it inside. Now, if you want to, you could put beads in here. You know, to have a, a prettier thing. Um, I'm just going to leave it plain for this time. Because I did one like that. But I use glass jars. And to go camping with glass jars is really not a thing you want to do. You know? So, anyways. And there you go. I might scrape some of this glue off the edge here just make it look a little bit nicer and then when we're finished we're going to take them outside when it gets real dark and I'll show you the, the lighting not completely dark dark but a dark enough where you can see them because you know my camera doesn't have a light on it so there we go and we'll just let it, let it be, let it be, let it be. And if you're not sure about the size, take the um, can, the, the, the light, and take the thing off in the store and go around and, and find whatever you want to make sure it's going to fit on the top. So then you're, you know, you're not guessing. Okay, so there we go. We got three done already. So the... Fourth one we're going to do is with the stick, okay? Now, if you have a black stick because, you know, for whatever, from the broom or, or uh, you know, you couldn't find a white one or you wanted 
just a color, a different color, go ahead and paint it. You can do that. I'm not going to paint mine because um, I don't really need to. It's white. I don't care. So, <clears throat> and I'm just, uh, I'm, I like to, I want to see how well I like this. And if I do, I might buy a few more of these. And because um, we have a, these sticks came from our canopy that we had over the Corvette that blew down and broke. It fell apart so we have these as extra so I could probably use these and and put them outside what I'm going to do I'm going to stick this inside here and if you want to put glue around it just to make sure it stays you can I don't really think I'm going to have to with this one because it's pretty snug you know I'm going to have to play with it to get it all the way in there you see how snug it is and what this is, is your torch, your light torch for your backyard. You have a patio outside, like a deck or something. You want to do something like this? That'd be cool, you know. Um, yeah, anything like that. So, you know, I'm hoping this will work okay. And all I'm going to do is stick it in the ground. And that'll be it. Now, I haven't pulled all these out yet. I guess I should. Because, um, you know, you have to pull these little things off to get your light to work. So, I'm going to take them out now. See, there's the light. And here we go. And you could use these around your campground, too, if you like. You know, when you go camping and stuff. So, there we go. You put a couple outside beside your tent if you want. So, there we go. So we got three, four done. And there's another one I want to do, um, but I haven't found um, what I was looking for today. I, I looked today too and yesterday and I could not find. So, um, where I, where I want to do is um, find a little lan lantern. And I have these stuck in the ground outside in by the mailbox too but they're in the ground and i want to make um, little lanterns with the hook on them and i figured if i could do two of them and put these little lights in the middle of them that i could put one on each side of the mailbox because I have wood and I have some screws that my dad had so I could you know the long ones with the hook on them and I can screw them in there and that I would like to do that one if I can find them I will do a video on that but um, I gave you the idea just in case I can't and maybe you can find them and maybe you might want to do the same thing around your mailbox or around the you know you have a shepherd's hook you could hang them on your shepherd's hook I did those ones with the glass on them, but I don't want to put the glass out there. If I can find, I want plastic ones, and um, so I'd like to, to find them. Um, they didn't have any at Dollar Tree, but some Dollar Trees I heard that I saw, I saw that had them. So maybe your Dollar Tree might have them. So, um, yeah, that was, that was a cool idea that I found, and I thought would it look really cute up by the mailbox and you know it's right by my driveway there so I can put one on each side and that would be really cute anyway so when it gets dark out these are drying I think they are dry they're pretty good um, what I'm gonna do with these I have two little tables for our chairs and I'm gonna put them on there and here we go we got and they're see they're they're glued they're they're stuck so I'm going to take the lights out of them. I mean the little sticky things out of them. So they'll light up. And, um, yeah. So I was thinking about putting these out front. But see, I have a light that stays on at night. And it turns itself off at, in, in the morning. So I kind of don't want to make it real dark in the front we had um an incident where someone stole our gas can um that was sent by their garage and it didn't get it on the camera because we think that if they went around the side and they grabbed it 
So we, um, yeah, and it had our boat gas in it. So if they use it for their car, it will make them think that their car's not running right if they don't know what they're doing. So, because it'll smoke real bad. That's what Shape Bear said, anyways. So, anyways, I got the lights all going here. And we'll just let them sit and do their thing. And then when it gets dark out, we'll come back and I'll take this stuff outside and then you will be able to see how pretty it is. We'll be back. Okay, um, monkey's back. And uh, so anyways, I'm out here in the dark. You probably can't see me. I'll try to lighten it up when I edit. Um, so I put the lights out and so you can see. And here's one right here, as you can see. And this is the one that I want to use for the table. Just set it on the table, whatever. And you could use maybe more than one. I got a little bit of glue on it, but it doesn't matter. It, it's, you know, I was thinking for when we go camping and stuff, I might get another one and do two of them. So I have one, you know, to put two of them on there. And you have a little bit of a light. It does pretty good and it looks pretty. Now what I did over here, I hopefully you can see, there we go, is this is the one on the stick. Now I put it over here near Shea Bear's garden here so you could see it. And uh, there you go, I have it on a pole. And if I did more than one, you know, I was thinking that I could do another one of these and then I could put it out front of our tent. So it gives it a little... Uh, you know, a little lighting around the tents when we're coming in and out of it. And I think two of these would probably work pretty good. So this is just to show you how it's going to work. So I think that's what I will do. And Shea Bear was surprised that I took one of his uh, his sticks. So he's like, hi, oh, you took one of my sticks. I said, yeah, I'm going to get some more too. So uh, he was surprised I was going to do that. There's something back there. Uh, hoping ain't nothing great. Uh, hope not. Don't need anything spooky. No. Anyway. I don't know what it was. But, alright. Anyways, I turned the floodlight off so it could be a little bit prettier. Now this one here, it didn't light up as well as it should. I don't know why. Probably didn't get enough charge. Yeah, it's probably what it is, I'm thinking. But this one's a little bit brighter, and I'll work on the other one. Hopefully, I'll have another charge. So, um, it probably just didn't get enough when I, in the house. So, um, there. And the reason why you do the mirror is because it reflects it and makes it a little bit brighter. And it looks pretty. So, I put them on the table, and it kind of gives a little decoration, too. See, in the lighting, you can see the lighting. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Maybe not. Yeah, that's too bad. On this one, maybe. Yeah, yeah. See the see the light around the table, and you can see it from here on the other one, but not as well because it didn't get as bright. But tomorrow night they'll probably be even brighter because they'll have the sun all day. So, and they're cute, you know. And we're sitting out here, and we're just you know hanging out or whatever. And uh, so it looks pretty. And it doesn't matter if it gets rained on, they'll be fine. So there you go. So there you go, guys. Uh, hopefully you can see me when I brighten it. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I feel eerie out here without the flood light on. So anyways, let's walk back over here. Maybe you can see me a little bit better. Um, yeah, so there are one, two, three, four, four that I did, and I gave you a, a suggestion on the other one, so there you go. So uh, you could maybe try the other one too if you want. So there you go. These things are endless, and you can do whatever you want. Make it creative for whatever, whatever what you would like. I'm going to hopefully try to buy me a, 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 a kind of like a, um, 
oh, I can't talk, it's like a canopy kind of thing to put out here, and I want to buy some furniture to put underneath it. That's my goal. Um, I'd like to pave it, but I think I'm going to buy it first, and then I think I'm going to, um, and then we can buy the pavers. I'm going to buy the big square ones to put out here because it will cost less some money, um, and so that's what I'm going to do I'm back here. Uh, near future, hopefully. So, uh, yeah, so that'll work out. And then I will maybe decorate with lights underneath there. And I might take these lights that I have here and put them underneath there. I will see. I want to bring it out from the front door, but it won't maybe attach to anything. It'll just, you'll walk out and then you'll be able to have like a gazebo. That's what I'm basically saying. So, if we want to set out here in the evening, I might have a net around it or something. So, um, you know, we can sit out here and we just sit out there. So it'd be nice because I don't have a porch. I'd love to put a porch on. I just can't afford it. Um, you know, a back porch. I had one at my other place in Oklahoma and I used it a lot. So I'd even sit out there, you know, in the evenings in the summer and talk on my phone or I even had TV out there for the kids at one time and the kids used to play you know hang out there and they would hang out with their friends out there we used it a lot and I think we even though the kids are all gone um, I think he, we would use it you know Shaver smokes so he would go outside he could sit out there and smoke and, and underneath it and stuff and if it's raining you know it doesn't matter you know you're not gonna get wet so I'm hoping to get one of them um, in the near future, so we will we'll see. So, anyways, stay tuned. And Monkey says she's out for now. So, uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.